The organization needs to determine and provide adequate resources to implement the quality management system and to maintain its effectiveness, as well as meet all applicable regulatory and customer requirements. This provision essentially places the responsibility of management to ensure there are adequate resources. Resources covers all resources, including human, financial, equipment and facilities, but from a QMS perspective, the management representative can place their primary focus on human resources. At a high level, this is documented in the company's organization chart discussed in Chapter 5.5. To ensure there are adequate resources, the management review should include key process indicators, KPIs, which are metrics used to make sure the systems are under control. For example, non-conformances may have a KPI that is 95% of all non-conformances and should be addressed and closed within 30 days of initiation. If the organization is capable of meeting that KPI, or at least coming close, the non-conformance system can be said to be managed appropriately and effectively for the organization. If that KPI is not achievable, it's indicative that additional resources may be needed in order to ensure non-conformances can be managed within the desired requirements. Similar KPIs must be established to reflect the entire quality management system to ensure adequate resources are available. Ultimately, top-level management is responsible for ensuring there is a provision for adequate resources.